Hello. So I've expanded the back end to also support a comfy workflow files. So these can be specified here. If one of them is specified, it will essentially overwrite the model pipeline. So we use the, the comfy pipeline instead of the actual model. And then I'll just show you here. So if I change these just to a cat instead, and then update, these will go off and um, generate at the same time. So there's multiple workers and one, one will run comfy in the background. So one's got comfy running here Then it will load and swap the, um, the inputs. And then the other one here would be running the normal sort of diffuser ones. Uh, initially the comfy one is a little bit slower to first start because it needs to load initialize but um then we can see here that the diffuser one has come back already but the comfy one will take a little bit longer initially and then yeah then it's come back here so you can sort of run both you can sort of mix and match i'm using sort of a pretty simple model here in this workflow file and then this also can work the same in uh, Nuke as well. So you can have um, an initial image and then here's one, an in-painting one. So it's an in-paint, specific in-paint workflow that works better than one of the normal model ones that isn't a specific in-paint checkpoint. So it can give better results. And basically how how the workflows are sort of made is you can just open up Comfy here. And basically they you would have matching inputs based upon the schema. So we've got this create schema and there would be various ones that would sort of map into here. So as long as it's got these like inputs, API prompt, API negative prompt, you can just sort of hook them up to whatever workflow you have. That would be the one sort of thing that it would, the workflows would have to be augmented with these, but also some could be completely missed out. But we can also, from the API, we can generate the sort of template of this. It will give you the node definition so you can sort of drop them in. And then once you have them, you can easily just back to work a workflow. And then possibly it's quite important maybe that these would be, depending on how widely used, like they would be saved or published so they're not sort of just people using random ones but you can as well but i'd imagine the sort of best workflow is you craft some sort of workflow in comfy sort of test it out and then when you're sort of happy with your workflow you can sort of publish it and then others could pick it up and then they wouldn't really have to use comfy at all but we're sort of still using it just for defining the sort of the pipeline stage and it allows a bit more flexibility I think they'll still be keeping some of the more conventional diffuser routes as well. I think some of them are quite handy because they could be a bit quicker to start up. And then anything sort of like that gets a bit more bespoke, you can sort of define it in a in a custom workflow, essentially. And then these workers, you could have you could have multiple here, right? And then they sort of go, one of them is processing a workflow, one of them is just processing a normal image one. And these could also be, you could have as many of these as you wanted, right? You could depend on how many computers you had, so you could have as many as required, and then the jobs will just get picked up automatically. 
and the good thing is you could sort of this could be self-hosted as well uh, the only sort of prerequisite would be a little bit setting up docker to sort of allow workers to be on other machines and sort of a fast sort of fast access of a volume sort of to read models and yeah that's pretty much um the sort of rough implementation of a, the comfy back end as well and i think it's probably a bit more flexible in terms of this this model approach is a little bit rigid but it is also i guess a trade-off of sometimes you want something completely rigid and sometimes you want some flexibility 